Hello gentlemen, uh, welcome to WordPress in search. Uh, today I'm going to show you about uh, uh, the version of uh, AdSense Day TXT. Uh, you can uh, probably you notice on your uh, account showing on your AdSense your account showing that uh, you showed uh, you are losing some endings uh, because of uh, <coughs> not identifying this HTSC, uh, uh, which uh, identifies uh, uh, about the authorization of uh, inventory, sales inventory, ad inventory. So, to apply to comply with this uh, publication uh, inventory uh, stuff. How you gonna do it on WordPress? I'm gonna show you. Also, I am also going to show you. I'm going to share idea on how to do it on uh, uh, bloggers for those who is on blog uh, blogspot.com. Uh, we want to we want to look into that also. So now <coughs> let's go uh, straight. Once you click on the learn more through AdSense. Uh, once you click on learn more, you're gonna land on this page. You're gonna see this page describing uh, the claim of authorized, uh, authorized sellers with uh, a uh, uh, dot txt. So now uh, the next thing you have to do is you scroll down right here. You see your uh, create your own txt something like this. So now how to create? You have to just open up uh, a test file now you open up a test file on your desktop something like this already i opened this so here you can copy right you can copy uh, copy out this here you copy out this here you put it on your test file you drop it here on your test file then you can go to your URL, I already put it here so that you can understand what I mean. Uh, once you log into your ad AdSense, you're gonna see uh, uh, this uh, your publisher, publisher ID is on your URL. You can see it right on your URL. This is your publisher ID. For example, this is mine, so I'm gonna copy this here gonna copy this here I'm gonna change all this to so I'm gonna change this here okay so now this file we can I can only remove this one here which I use only for illustration it's gonna look something like this okay so once this file I'm gonna save it on my desktop I'm gonna save it on my desktop. Save as. So I'm gonna save save as. Already I save one. So I'm gonna show you right. Uh, once you save that on your desktop, you what the next thing you have to do is you're gonna log into your website and uh, you're gonna go to add blog. You go to go login. You can go plugins. This is a simple way you can do it to plugins. Uh, another way to do it is through uh, uploading this, this file you save on your desktop. You can upload it to your uh, site through your uh, uh, back door, back door space. So I'm gonna show you also that. So here, right here, you're gonna see. Uh, you're gonna search for uh, this text edit uh, file right you know type in here so it's gonna search out here so already you can see I'm using this present one uh, as test uh, as uh, TST manager right here is already activate, activated so once activate uh, once activate you go to the you go to the settings 
So once you go through the settings, uh, you're going to go through the settings here. Uh, where is the settings? Settings, settings, where is the settings here? Oh my god. Oh, you go to the settings, you're going to see this uh, XLTS file. So you're going to click on that. So once you click on that, you're going to get this place. So once you go there, you're going to copy. Already you see, I can already I copied what I got. You're going to copy this, all this file here, which you put on this. Ready? You're going to copy this. Come over to the uh, test file, uh, the manager here, and paste all of this. You're going to paste it here. Then you click search change. So once you click change, search change, so you are already done with that. So you are complying. So this file will be in your site. So once somebody types, uh, let's say, uh, for example, uh, somebody types, let's say, your example, the site, example, dot com slash uh, let's say um, once it's uh, type uh, at uh, dot t s t <coughs> once you press enter once you type your site name that is uh, example is your site name dot maybe com or dot net whatever once you got it uh, slash uh, uh, as dot txt you will see all those files this file will be appearing right on that page so that shows that you are already complying with uh, the um, file inventory stuff and uh, your site is going to earn more for you and uh, you're going to you're gonna lose uh, uh, some offers right here so also for the bloggers, for the blogspot.com, uh, guys, let me show you what we're gonna do here and how we're gonna comply with that. Uh, right here, let me see. Um, let me see blogspot. Uh, uh, blogspot. Let me use one of these blogs. Uh, I try to have someone to do. I have. I need, uh, so right here for the uh, for the block spot guys, uh, you can see here. Once you go to settings, once you go into your uh, dashboard, uh, you're gonna go to settings. Then you're gonna press uh, uh, hit on the search uh, perform, uh, preferences. So right here you're gonna click on this. You're gonna see right here when you scroll down, you see monetization, customize uh, S T S C dot. You're gonna check also out what uh, it means. So here you're gonna click on edit. So once you click on edit, uh, you're gonna click yes. So once you click yes, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy all this here. If you're using the same publisher ID on the blogspot, copy right here, copy this, and uh, you're gonna come over to the blogspot right here and press the click the change. So I'm not using uh, assets on this block, so I don't use this one. So for this one, you who use it, so you can click search change. So for now, I'm going to cancel it, but I'm going to use that. So once you click search change, it's going to show enable something like this. So you want to see it right here display. So I hopefully this video uh, assists someone, uh, helps you for uh, complying with it. If, uh, if you're really 